What's up everybody? This is Lee. Welcome back to the channel. Once again, as always, if you have an interest in getting your Mac on in a bigger and better way in the next 30 days, uh, check out my ebook, 10 Easy Hacks for Guys to Get More Sex in the Next 30 Days. The link is in the description box below. Okay, let's get right to it, shall we? So, um, a lot of my videos talk about uh, how to get get you know women, how to get women uh, hotties uh, quickly, easily. Um, how to not put yourself in a subservient uh, way with them, you know, how to, um, you know, uh, roll like an alpha male. Okay. And, um, and it's pretty much about being accountable in terms of, um, not letting, um, opportunity get, get by you. You know, oftentimes there's opportunity there. If you've put in the work but you might not recognize it right um and i think that that i've also talked about um online dating and i'm not a big fan of it uh not that i haven't done it uh but i've just never been a big fan of it and today uh i have some information for all of you that sort of validates what I say about, hey, look, you just need to get your Mac on out here in the real world, not the cyber world, right? Um, I'm going to post a link at the bottom of this, this video, um, which, uh, so I need to shout out, I need to sh uh, shout out Coach Greg Adams and shout out RPM. Um, RPM posted a video and coach Greg Adams, I guess, saw it or was sent the link for it. But anyway, what it, um, uh, talks about is the FTC, the federal trade, uh, c uh c commission. I think that's what it is. Federal trade commission. Yeah. They, um, they are suing several dating site companies. Um, they're suing the uh, company that owns Match, Tinder, um, and several others. Um, they're suing them because they have been in engaging in deceptive business practices. Um, and uh, it's the the um level to which this uh fraud and deception has been engaged is staggering okay uh by the way one of the things that they talk about is that it's not just the deception from match and from um uh, uh some of the other sites it's that the level of what they call romance fraud just from from the year 2018 i think it was like 143 million dollars let that sink in the ftc estimates that in the year of 2018 there was romance fraud of 143 million dollars now what that is is People who target uh, people who have signed up on the sites and they, they um, uh, sign up on the site with a fake profile and then they gain the trust of the other people on the site uh, and, and then at some point ask them for money. And these, these people thinking that they are talking to a real person, uh, and, and obviously, uh, people who are, you know, lonely and vulnerable emotionally, uh, they have been 
uh, victimized to the tune of $143 million in just one year. Okay, so it just speaks to how the it's a game it's a it's a game that um has been uh perpetrated largely upon men not entirely upon men but what happens is many of these women on these sites aren't even there to meet anybody they're just there because they have this insatiable need for validation so all they want is just likes they want likes they they want to get um uh validated you know it, it's a shame it isn't it isn't in enough that they're on uh, um social media posting booty shots and stuff like that you know to get validation they're on dating sites too it's like they have just an unquenchable need to be validated which by the way speaks to another thing which is you know uh and i think that i had mentioned this um that that when you're dealing with these women you need to make them earn your recognition earn your validation earn your compliments earn your attention okay um but it just um it just speaks to uh, to a to a level of um, of uh, exploitation of the fact that there are many men out there that are um, that just have no no clue how to be successful with with women, and then they go to these dating sites thinking that those are the answer and look i mean you can go to dating sites you can be successful but the point is that there are fake profiles on there uh and you know those those have been used to and to induce you to pay for membership you know lots of these uh, these you know sites will have uh like a you know section you can just like sign up for the basic deal and that's that's free but obviously they want you to be a paid member and so they like knowingly allowed fake profiles and in some cases uh manufactured them (laughs) okay to induce you to entice you to become a a paid member so look um check out the uh uh, i'm gonna post the video from um rpm in the description box and just you know look at that and just understand that this is what we talk about migtow guys red pill guys uh, I, I guess I'm not a MGTOW guy uh, entirely. I guess I would be categor- categorized more as a, a pickup artist guy. But I understand that, you know, this is serious, man. This is serious. The, the, um, uh, um, there, there is a uh, cultural crossroads right now. And I want to see you guys... Um, on the alpha male side of it, not getting dominated, not not winding up as a beta male cuck, carrying, uh, you know, some like woman's purse around the mall. Okay, you know what I mean? Like, like, uh, y- like, you deserve better than that. But you know, we we um you know talk about you know earning it so if you're not there yet you have to earn that okay you know and um uh with um you know red pill guys like you know me rpm coach greg adams uh the sharp reality uh and 
many others, you know, you can get that you can get that good red pill knowledge to keep yourself out of harm's way. All right, guys. So anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you hate it, hit the hate button and say, Lee, I hate this video and you suck. But whatever you do, click subscribe because it helps the channel grow. And uh, we'll be back with another video very soon. Later.